twilight of the morning at Olpejeta Conservancy in Nanyuki. All life silently awaits for the sunrise. The sun gives a new beginning to adventures. How glorious of a greeting it gives. Jetta Conservancy boasts of being a role model for conservation that is innovative, tangible and sustainable. Welcome to Olpejeta Conservancy. So Olpejeta Conservancy is a conservancy in Laikipia. It's actually a 90,000 acres conservancy in Laikipia uh, County, in a town known as uh, Nanyuki. So it's located between the Abadea Ranges and uh, Mount, the Mount Kenya itself. So Olpejeta is home to various uh, species of animals. Uh, the common ones mostly being the big five. We have all the big fives here in Old Pejeta Conservancy and uh, notably the two northern white rhinos that are only left in the whole world and uh, some southern white rhinos and currently the biggest black rhino sanctuary in eastern central Africa. Conservancy embodies how conservation, communities, tourism and wildlife work together. An ecosystem can flourish sustainably and wildlife can thrive in their natural habitat. This private wildlife conservancy situated on the equator with Mount Kenya as its backdrop is the largest black rhino sanctuary in East Africa. When people visit Olpejeta, they come here mostly to uh, watch the various game that we have here or the various wild animals that we have here. And uh, just to mention is, uh, we are the only place that uh, has chimpanzees in the whole of Kenya. So we are the home to uh, a population of around 35 chimpanzees and it's the only place that you can see chimpanzees in Kenya. Apart from that, people will come here to see rhinos because it's the only place that you will see uh, a big number of rhinos grazing out there in the wild. And also a whole variety of other animals, like we have the big five, lion, leopard, uh, elephants, buffaloes. It is also the conservancy where you will be lucky to see the only two northern white rhinos left on the planet. Najin and Fatu were moved to Kenya from the Czech Republic in 2009 and live on the 700-acre northern white rhino enclosure. The enclosure is open to visitors twice daily where you can meet the northern whites and learn more about their history, what it takes to protect them and what Olpejeta is doing to try and save this species. We have the two uh, northern white rhinos, Najin and Fatu, which are no longer able to, uh, to produce naturally because there's no male left of the northern white rhinos. So what happened is that uh, there were some eggs that were harvested or some semen that were harvested from the previous males that we had, Sudan and uh, the males that were there before him. And uh, we, we used those uh, semen to fertilize the eggs that we got from the two females, Najin and Fatu. And uh, at the moment we have been able to 
uh, make like 13 uh, embryos, which we are intending to put in one of the surrogate mothers. We have some southern white rhinos that we've put aside to be able to act as surrogates, carry the pregnancy on behalf of the two northern white rhinos. Another popular attraction would be meeting Baraka, the rhino ambassador. Also in Old Pejeta is where you find uh, black rhinos and uh, Baraka, a, bl a blind black rhino that is mostly located at Morani. We use him as a rhino ambassador to sensitize and educate people about uh, the plight of black rhinos, what uh, challenges they are facing in terms of uh, population and all that. And uh, Baraka is blind and uh, he got his blindness from a fight that he was involved in. Black rhinos fight a lot whenever they want to dominate a territory. And uh, he got stabbed in one of his eyes and later on after a year he lost his other eye through an infection. So he was uh, no longer able to stay in the wild and he was uh, relocated from the wild and put in an enclosure in a place called Morani. With conservation at its forefront, Olpegeta ensures the protection of the existing wildlife. In addition to the 300-acre chimpanzee sanctuary established to rehabilitate animals rescued from the black market. Among the animals that we've gotten from different places include the northern white rhinos, which uh, came in the year 2009 from uh, Czechoslovakia. So we also have the chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are not native to Kenya. So we, we have some chimps that were rescued from different places, Burundi, Cameroon, and even as far as Iran. So we have a sanctuary there that was uh, established here in 1993. 2015, we saw him as well set on fire, ablaze 15 tons of ivory. Another time, this had been the largest stock, stockpile of ivory to be uh, set ablaze. Over the years, Kenya has been fighting poaching that has been endangering wildlife. More reason why there is a rhino memorial honoring the lives of all the Olpegeta rhinos that have been killed in the poaching epidemic. This is a reminder of the devastation of the illegal wildlife trade, but also an inspiration to all who visit and continue supporting rhino conservation. We, we've seen in recent years uh, a lot of people, most of them uh, celebrities and also uh, big names uh, in in terms of contributing into into arts conservation. Like we've seen uh, celebrities from all over the world coming here to see the northern white rhinos, helping in the chimps and also adopting uh, various animals that we've put up for adoption. For wildlife upkeep, the Conservancy practices a symbiotic relationship with livestock. We also integrate uh, livestock together with wildlife and uh, in not just uh, giving us income, it also helps us in uh, uh, maintaining the rangeland because we cannot always have uh, buffaloes and zebras grazing. There are places that they will avoid but we can control the grazing of cows and also the cows will also help us a lot in collecting the ticks therefore minimizing the chances of these uh, wildlife uh, transmitting to each other these uh, animal borne diseases.
Jimmy has been working at the Conservancy for about nine years now. Taking care of wildlife and spending most of his time around the park gives him much joy. Uh, I've been in Old Pejeta for nine years now and uh, started up as a rhino caregiver whereby I used to take care of the northern white rhinos, then started uh, guiding people around. I've also done the predator monitoring, that is lion tracking and all that. And uh, I think I'm not at the place where, I'm not in the place where I started. So Old Pejeta keeps on growing every day and so does the people who work in Old Pejeta Conservancy. He tells us of the other many activities to do on a visit to the Old Pejeta including getting a souvenir from the gift shop. Once you visit Old Pejeta, you'll have an opportunity to view a variety of wildlife. And apart from wildlife there, there's also a variety of activities that you can do while you're in Old Pejeta Conservancy. One of them being a visit to the northern white rhinos. So this will give you a chance to get up close with the northern white rhinos. There's also lion tracking that uh, will be carried out by our guides and also the ecological monitoring team. You'll help us in uh, monitor the population of lions that we have here and also help in collecting data on the various prides that we have with the conservancy. So some other activities include uh, night game drives whereby you get to uh, visit Old Pejeta and also take, uh, take a drive at night and using some special spotlights you'll be able to view wildlife at night. Once you visit Old Pejeta, you might need to have a car and uh, the roads here are very good so in fact most of the people or most of the local uh, visitors come using their private cars. Others use uh, tour vans and uh, land cruisers and also overland trucks. So you can access Old Pejeta using any means of transport. So we also have uh, horse riding whereby you visit the northern white rhinos on horseback and uh, apart from that is uh, you can be able to access Old Pejeta by uh, being guided around by a ranger or person, our person who is well versed with the roads and uh, the networks in Old Pejeta. We have a, a, a continental cuisine, we also have a, a Italian cuisine, we also have a French cuisine, we, have a, we also have a African cuisine as well, where we normally make a nyama choma with ugali and some kachumbari. Then uh, we do have a, a bush walk where we normally bush dinner, where we normally do the bush dinner. If somebody is interested with having bush dinner, we go to a certain area within the Oropajeta Conservancy where with some armed rangers where we can do some bush dinner like nyama choma or even some bitings. We also do some sand donuts where we go to some various places 
within our Pajeta Conservancy, where we do the, uh, the sandona with some biting as well. This hotspot also offers unique experiences and something for every budget. So uh, when people visit Old Pejeta, they come here mostly to uh, watch the various game that we have here or the various wild animals that we have here. And uh, just to mention is, uh, we are the only place that uh, has chimpanzees in the whole of Kenya. So we are the home to uh, a population of around 35 chimpanzees and it's the only place that you can see chimpanzees in Kenya. Apart from that, people will come here to see rhinos because it's the only place that you will see uh, a big number of rhinos grazing out there in the wild and also a whole variety of other animals. It also has uh, various accommodation facilities, so starting from the uh, budget accommodation like we have in the stables, uh, all the way to tented camps like sweet waters and other tented camps, and uh, we also have private campsites and other high-end uh, camps that are in Old Pejeta. We have around seven camp camps, private camps that are in Old Pejeta Conservancy, and we have five uh, private, con uh, private campsites. One that you can come with your own tent and then spend the weekend or spend the number of days that you would like to in the conservancy. Nimetoka all the way from Kilifi County, paka hapa na nyuki, sababu mimi napenda sana mazingira ambao nikiona rhinos, na furahia sana. Na hapa sweet waters, wako na hospitality nzuri sana. Chakula chao, nyumba zao, tent zao, ziko vizuri sana. Watu mimi ningewambia wakitaka kuja ulpejeta, ni sehemu ambao kunaweza kufuka kwa haraka. Kutoka Nairobi ni kama mas, kilomita miambili na sita. Na kama unatokea upande wa Mombasa ama Kilifi, unakuja na SGR kama vile mini nilikuja jana, nikalala Nairobi, asubuhi nikaanza safari yangu. For its commendable conservation campaigns, Olpejeta has won several awards in protecting wildlife, and it continues to educate a global audience about the significance of their kind. Mm -hmm.